Hi everybody, Maria here. I hope you are doing great today. I am here to do the final flip through this journal and I did have one video before this. Unfortunately, it got deleted in a mess of transferring my photos to my computer and all sorts of things, but you know what? That's okay. We're just gonna move on. So I uh, chose to close the journal with this seam binding that I made. It was white and I dyed it with some oxide spray and some regular distress day spray. I can't speak today. Uh, so that is the binding and then I have some little butterfly charms on the end. So let me take that off and you just, I just tied it in a bow. Okay, and then, you know, if you just unwind it. And there's a lot on there, I think. Okay. So there is the seam binding and then it's got the texture paste and the oxide and regular distress sprays and some other sprays. Then on the cover, I have, I think that's the video that might be missing. I can't remember of the sewing, the different ephemera and stuff on the cover. And there we go, that's that. Then on the inside, we have these two pieces of ephemera and the pocket, which is the lace that goes all the way through to the back. Then we've got this fun page here. On this page, we have three tags. There's these two. And on this one, I did some UV resin with some sprinkles of like, it's not glitter, but it's fun. So, and I sewed on all the tags. And then there's this guy with the Euro hook punch. Okay. Then we have this page with a cute little label. This page folds out and it has some lace on it. On this page, on the bottom corner, we have a little tuck spot. It's a little ephemera cluster. And we got a cute little ticket tucked in there. On this page, we just have writing room. On this page, we have a corner tuck and journaling room. And then we have this tag with the punch in the top. Then on the next page, we have a piece of tea dye paper glued on the top and a cute little butterfly there. And then just another page. Here we have a fold out and this is newsprint. And then I did stenciling on it. And on the top here is lace. And here we have this, this folds around both sides and it's got a double pocket. So here is a journaling card and that is from the master board and it's got a nice little whale tail tab on there and in the front here we have a fun little booklet that i sewed up the middle of and it's got some layering on the front and then just a few different pages from the papers i used okay on the back side of that we have a tag from the master board and a journaling card okay i love the whale tail Punches. And I got, got this set online and this is in my own packaging now. This isn't how it came and it has one more of these medium ones. I misplaced it, but I'll find it in my piles of business somewhere. Then I have this lovely doily, tea dye doily. I love how that came out. Then I have one of these pockets and it's got some fun lace on it and then you open it up and it is clipped in with this clip because otherwise it will fall out the side and here we go i got this at michael's i wish this uh, sorry for the lighting that's just how it goes here and then here is the you can write here and then here is a tag from the master board okay and we'll just clip that cutie right back in And I will wind that back up after the video so I don't take more time than I need to. Uh, skipping a page, sorry about that. So there we go. I know that some people like to have something on more pages. I, this is just how I do it for right now. And then it gives you journaling room. And then if you wanna add things like pictures or things like that, I feel like if I have clusters on every page, then there's not room for putting what you want. Here is a cute little floral page more of the collection. Here is a cluster with fabric and flowers. And here is another journaling card from the master board. It says beautiful spring. Okay, here's another page. Here is that big pocket with lace that I made. I wish I had sewn that, 
but it is what it is at this point. And I left that empty because it was getting pretty chunky at this point. And so I wanted to let the person who gets it put stuff in there. Okay, and then here are the pockets. And this pocket, each pocket has a journaling card. This one has this, this journaling card. Okay, I like when they're lined. And then this one has this journaling card. All right. Okay, tea dyed paper. Then we have a pocket. This is tracing paper that I printed on and it's got this tag. And then this tag has a pocket at the back with another journaling card. All right. Got to make sure that's in there good so it'll fit. Then another piece of paper. And there's our middle. Okay, on the other side of this, we have more paper, the tea dyed and the regular paper. And then here is the other side of that pocket. And we have a journaling card in that pocket. Okay. Sometimes the tracing paper can be a little bit harder to open, but it's being nice. And then I have a nice whale tail. And then here we go here. This side is three pockets and each has a card. Okay, and they're all similar. I am gonna let those other two stay in their little nest. And I know you can you can totally decorate this up much more. This is just what I chose to do. Okay, on this side we have a big yummy envelope and then open it opens up that way. And then here comes another tag. Okay, and it's sewn and it has tea dye paper on the back. Got to get that in there all the way, otherwise it pokes out and it bends. Oh, today it's been a little bit, there we go. All right, and then here we go, more of the papers. And here's the other side of that floral, which I love. And here is another little tuck spot and it's got a ticket in it. Okay, the other side of doily. Here is a, this is a um, book page here and some lace and it's got three tuck spots. So here's the first tag and here is a journaling card. And then in the third spot, we have this big old tag made from the master board. Sorry, that goes behind there. There we go. So lots of layers there. Okay, here's a butterfly here and the other side of this stencil page here. And then we have a uh, fold out here and then we have a tag in here and this page is lined with tea stained paper and our tea dyed paper and lace. Okay. And a nice whale tail. And then here on this side, we have another one of these clusters as a tuck spot and another journaling card. And then more of the papers, some washi. And then on this side, we have a clip to hold that together. And there is, it's just a little cute epoxy piece. And then here, this folds out this way. And you can journal here. And then there are two tags. Here is one long skinny tag and here is the other long skinny tag and they are both backed and then we'll clip that tiger back that's just my uh, washing machine and then here's the last page and last but not least i did one of these document folio whatever kind of things you want to call them that everybody's doing right now and here is that and we just have some various papers that they can use as they please and last but not least that and that is the front piece and that is this journal so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this and that um, i would love your feedback on what you think and i always appreciate constructive criticism what i could do better but Please be nice. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.